Hilde Tem Krafta stands for Cranial Facial Therapy Academy, founded around the, the educational purpose of the group. Well, Krafta was founded by Harry van Pickaerts, uh, who is a very specialized facial manual therapist in Holland. And he combined um, a lot of different techniques and knowledge that he had from other structures in the body to the head and neck region. And I think he was the first in Holland who uh, had a very specialized idea about uh, movement and functions of head, neck and face. So in 2007 he founded Krafta and started to give courses, first in Germany and later in whole Europe. And slowly we build it up the whole system with assistants and uh, co-teachers and now have a team of more than 10 people helping to assist in uh, lecturing all over Europe and in some other parts of the world like the US, Singapore, Canada and so we started to build up the structure. The Krafta education program is a modular system. We start with the basic course uh, containing two times four days uh, where you have your basic education. After that you can join the advanced courses. From the start of the basic course you have the access to an online e-learning program where you can work with all the material that you learn and you can do a re-assessment of your own skills. In the Krafta courses the clinical reasoning process is very important. So we build strategies around good clinical reasoning. You need to uh, work up from the subjective uh, examination, your uh, patient investigation or examination and um, make a hypothesis and a theory about what's happening and from there you start with your treatments. The courses are built around the structure of 40% theoretical education and 60% practical education. The advantage of the Krafta courses and the modular system is that you can work directly after the course with it. And if you use this in your daily practice, you have a huge advantage of seeing new patient groups that are not attending your practice at this moment. You can think about speech problems, swallowing problems, patients with headaches, children with growth disturbances, and things like this. And your cooperation with dentists, for example, will be much better after your communication skills are growing in this field. Orbita, compression, distraction, zygoma, rotation, anterior. So the theoretical background of the Krafta courses is based mainly on scientific work from the orthodontist, the dental and the neurologist world. Um, we stay in the scope of physio and manual therapy and we are not in uh, other disciplines. So all the underlying scientific work and the evidence of Krafta therapy and Krafta uh, education is based on these scientific studies. All the physios that are graduated can do the course, can join the course. Of course it's easier for you when you have some experience and good hands-on quality. But you can join our courses uh, if you are graduated. We have also some speech therapists, locopedists and uh, dentists joining the courses in Europe and may, maybe also in the US. So it's no problem to join. We expect a lot from you, but you can start with this starting qualification. Brendan Carney. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I'm really excited to be giving a testimonial for the Crafta course here in Bethesda. I had a fantastic experience. Uh, just my observation in clinical practice is that the cranial and oral facial pain segment and pain population 
is definitely a part of the market that can be further addressed. And the techniques and details and instruction that I've learned in this course has been amazing. Uh, we had our physiotherapist fly all the way in from Holland, which has been fantastic. And Mikhail says, as we can, as he likes to say, there's uh, lots of beautiful techniques and beautiful possibilities for this type of therapy. One of the things I liked about the course the most is the clinical reasoning process. And first we go through the temporal mandibular structure and the anatomy and the palpation and figuring out how does that structure play a role into the cervical region, how do those structures interface with the cranial aspects as well as the neural aspect. And so the course was divided into three different parts, thankfully because there's a lot of information in this course, which has all been fantastic. So we had four days and then we had an intermediate portion with a fantastic and very easy to use online component and home study, followed by another four days course, which was focusing on the neurodynamic techniques and uh, the neural aspects of both evaluation and treatment. So after leaving this course, I feel like it's really opened the book for me and I feel like I have some things that I can immediately implement into clinical practice. That being said, I also feel like it's the tip of the iceberg and there's so much more to learn and so many more wonderful possibilities. So I'm just really thankful that I had this opportunity and it's been fantastic.